To see more RVs and RV related products, be sure to check out socialmedianomads.com. Hey everybody, Chris here from Chris Travels. NG. And today we have a 2015 Hallmark Motor Coach Coach. This is the 4503BH model, which stands for Bunk House. Has a length of 45, has three slide outs, which of course they have awnings. Its total height on the outside is 13.5 feet. It is a tandem axle. The engine is a, or the chassis rather, is a Freightliner. Has a Cummins 600 horsepower diesel engine. The transmission is a Eaton 6 feet. Generator is a Omen Quiet Diesel. The amperage capacity is 12.5 kilowatts. Fuel tank capacity is actually a double tank system. It has two 70 gallon diesel tanks. As you can see as we move around, you can see that other wide slide out. It does not have propane as an aqua hot water system though. Black water capacity is 65, gray water matches that at 65. Fresh water capacity is 135 gallons. And uh, it has no hot water tank. It is a tankless system, so it's hot water as long as you have water. So in terms of cubic feet for the storage underneath, it actually doesn't have a, uh, I don't have that number for you, but I do know that under storage weight can be 16,000 pounds. It also has a 40,000 pound towing capacity. So you can tow about anything you want with this thing. It has a total sleeping area for eight people. So she's gonna get ready for the interior. Of course, they do have a exterior entertainment center with your TV. They have a Sony uh, CD player to explode speakers. Um, down here is your actual Aqua Hot system for those that love all their hot water. Um, down through here is more storage. These are the tandem axles, and they included a pretty awesome little grill here in the back that just slides in and out whenever you're out camping, uh, doing the whole outdoor thing. As we move around, that's that 40,000 pound hitch that I was telling you about. You can tow anything you want with this thing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, you got your backup camera back there as well. And there is the uh, trademark Hallmark Motor Coach. So as we circle around, there's your 50 watt power. Of course, more storage through here. And uh, both of your awnings on this side as well, your other two. Uh, this is your outdoor shower and your valves for your fresh water, I mean your holding water, your gray water, and also your black water. Also they have a, uh, a sanding fill as well. This is where you come up to enter the coach. It's crazy that it's a door system like I'm five foot 10, just reach straight out to open the door that's pretty awesome this thing is a beast like I have a wide-angle lens on right now and you, you just can't even get how big this thing is that is awesome certified clean idle California of course the Freightliner chassis very dependable so let's check out the inside alrighty guys so this is where all the magic happens this has been the most impressive interior of any cockpit I've ever seen that I've ever been in. This is absolutely amazing. Wait, first let me show them this outside. How it has those sliding doors that actually close, I think. No, well, oh, they yeah. do. Yeah, they do. They, they slide closed. This little piece right there. So as you're That's driving, you can just so completely cool. close. So when people are back there doing whatever, you can completely close them off and drive. That's Which awesome. Pretty sweet. So it has this little wood piece that actually goes down in there. Up here to the cockpit. You have absolutely everything, and this is actually an air ride chair, leather seat, and this is some of the softest leather I've ever felt in my entire life. This is absolutely amazing. You have your parking brake, you have your tra trailer air supply. Man, this thing is absolutely amazing. Everything you have, everything you need is right here. Looks like you have your tire pressure, your oil, your water temperature, your RPMs, your gas. Uh, Speedometer, obviously, and there's some more air gauges. This is probably your rear view camera. Looks like you have your turbo. Man, this is absolutely amazing. There's so much here, I can't even talk about it. Like, 
basically everything you'd ever need is right here. You have a CB right up here. And I was talking about in other coaches how they don't have the double elbow rest. This definitely does. This is absolutely amazing. Let me see that, G. What, what do you think of the passenger seat? Yep. The passenger seat is equally as nice. <sighs> could you sit in there for yeah, hours? Yeah, I could actually probably sit Is that Willie right Nelson down there? That is not Willie Nelson. It's like Willie Nelson. He's into motorhomes, I'm not joking. Wait, really? Moving <laughs> on. Um, so, right when you walk in, you have a TV up there. And then this is a bed right up here. Um, and it has the curtain so you can separate that off. Um, the entire control panel is right up here and this actually closes. It's beautiful. Um, it also, up there. So it looks like you have your... You have your driver tanks. side, passenger side, front, rear awnings. You have the water tanks. You have your aqua hot system all up here. And some other things that I'm not even quite sure what they mean. <laughs> this right here, that is your power system. So that basically uh, keeps track of your batteries. So this is by far the most beautiful thing. Well, besides that first one that we've seen today. This is incredible. It feels like I'm in a house and not something on wheels. So all of the, um, oh wow, this is the um, TV, direct TV up here, um, and then DVD right there, um, and there's a ton of storage in this bad boy, all up here for the kitchen, um, all of this is wood, really nice, um, so in the kitchen area, you just have a bunch of storage all throughout here, all of these drawers are super awesome, um, there's some fruit if anyone wants some fruit. Um, the sink is really nice because it has double sink. How deep is that sink? Do you think you could actually get in there and wash stuff? Um, I definitely could. A little bit deeper would be nice, but it's definitely, um, I can work with that. Um, this, I was looking at earlier, is one of my favorite parts because you just do this and you can put those back there you have a convection and area. it's your stove top which is really awesome um, and this goes right back on so you don't lose any counter space so this is a huge kitchen I mean this I could do so much of this um, this is your really awesome convection oven um, also something that's really awesome is a side note is these little lightings that are all along the bottom so that's pretty cool um, the fridge is ginormous it's a whirlpool super nice um, and then we just have more storage all throughout here I mean this is huge so many people could live in here um, how is the uh, freezer G oh it just pulls out like this and it's definitely I mean, a decent size freezer freezer yeah um, the couch is super comfy I sat on it it also pulls into a bed so you have a bed up there and the couch so far um, and that's just what we've seen so far and again, all along here, a bunch of extra storage space. Um, the dining table area is really nice. Pretty standard. Could seat probably four, but then of course you have the seating over there. And then people can sit on the floor. The tile's so nice, I'd eat on the floor. Um, and then you have another TV system right here. So, you know, just in case someone wants to watch something on this TV and someone wants to watch something else on that TV. Then you walk in here. And this actually has a door right here that if you move the ladder you can close to separate this. So we have bunk beds right here with storage all along the bottom. Um, this bathroom is super beautiful. There's a full length mirror right here. Um, and it's a full size bathroom. It's pretty nice for the space. I mean there's enough space in here. There's a ton of extra storage. Which is pretty much all the space you need. Is that toilet a is that a plastic toilet or is that actual um, like hit hit the side the bottom? Is that an actual porcelain? Oh yeah, that's porcelain. I believe. And how how's the shower? How how big is the um, shower? The See shower is beautiful. So this just slides back in. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is awesome. I really like this little thing. Maybe that comes with it. Um. So yeah, there's enough room in here to do everything one needs to do in the shower. 
So there's the first bathroom. This door can stay open or closed. And then we get into the master bedroom. Um, and this is pretty neat because there's also pull-out doors here that I can't show you, but they do come out, which is awesome. No, just pull, pull that thing, G. Well, I know, but I do not want to. So, yeah. How cool is that? That is so cool. So, it's like a plexiglass type of thing. And I think it's soundproof. I can't hear anything out there. Um, and then the thermostat is right over here, and there's actually a whole separate thermostat set right around the corner for that first area we were in. Um, and there's a ton of storage, double-sided closet, excuse you babe, <laughs> double-sided closet, look at all that space, a his and hers, I believe, the wood smells really good, or maybe it's just that candle, um, but another TV in here, and then this is just all a bunch of storage space. Um, the bed is ginormous. Sit on the bed, how comfy is the bed? could be better, but I mean, I wouldn't complain if I lived in here. Um, they're reading a book. Some glasses. Um, oh, sorry. And there is storage everywhere above the bed as well. And then you come in here, the master bathroom, which is very decent size. Um, again, it has this where you can actually pull it out. And then there's a full length mirror on this side, too. Wow, so that shower is massive compared it's to the other one. The other one was big for an RV to begin with. And this is like a normal size shower. Like this is really big. It's really nice interior. Um, the shower head looks awesome. That's bigger and nicer than our hotels. Yeah. Um, there is good storage space, which is always important in a shower for shampoos and whatnot, if you're a girl. Um, then... Why does that have to be a girl? And you don't even use shampoo. <laughs> um, and then the sink right here is beautiful. And then, of course, you have just a ton of different storage in this bathroom as well. I mean, this thing is ginormous. It's beautiful. And the air conditioning just kicks on. on. Like, I forget that I'm on the road in this thing. Yeah. It is so big, it's insane. All right, G, what's the verdict? I would definitely, definite. oh my gosh, these are real. I would definitely want to live in this thing. It's beautiful. So what's the scale from one to 10? An 11. You like it, huh? Yes, but the bed wasn't very squishy, so maybe a 10. There's something else I was going to mention. Go ahead and pull those out. Do you have storage underneath Oh, there. yeah, that's right. And they actually lock, so it has the key in here. Go ahead and have a seat on the dinette. Do you think that would be good enough for... Yeah, I already tested it out. It's awesome. You could definitely fit, like, four people at this thing. Awesome. And Speaking of food, she's a hungry bear. I'm Let's starving. Go food. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Hey everybody, Chris here. And G. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please hit that like button if you could, and if you have done so already, please hit that subscribe button. And be sure to check out our latest videos from the Tampa RV Super Show, and also all of our videos about moving into our new Class A. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Catch you later.